Will, my homie, it's been a minute. How you been, man? I've been amazing, really busy, but uh, mostly amazing. So that's good. That's good. I mean, busy and amazing. That those those two worked well together, right? That that, that ties together. I think so. But sometimes it's cool to not be busy that's and true. have time to do whatever the heck you want. So that's not now. That's fine. That's true. Fair enough, man. But dude, again, I know you're a busy dude. So thank you for taking time to come hang with all of us tonight we just started and there's already 1500 people here hanging with us to celebrate new music new lorna and your hi everybody players. hi yes hi everybody i know it's i know they're like they're, they're little dots on my screen there but yeah they're 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 there that's that i the, see them you see how fast they're that's the people's they're saying hi how can you, you even read that you, you can't even read that it's just like <laughs> yeah i can't read that either Jesus man Christ. well so my, one of my favorite things i noticed the first time i talked with you is you are like the most energetic mother person i've ever talked to in my life like I, I you know i'm sure people call you and they're just like hello and then you're just so stoked and then they like the, it completely switches the other person's mood to like be happy like do you know you have that effect on people I don't think so, but I have heard that I'm a very positive person. There was once I was having a horrible day right. on the last tour, and the way that I described it to this person, they were just like, wow, you are having, you are just a happy person. <laughs> and I'm just like, how did you get that from me telling you all the things that I just told you? But I was like, all right, cool, you know. Any special oh, yeah. stories or fun stories when it came to make this song specifically that otherwise, if someone didn't ask you directly, no one would know about? I mean, I just remember, if you listen to this song before, you could tell it pretty much just, like, has a long intro, you know, like most albums do. And then it kind of punches you in the head. Okay. And that's kind of, like, I remember when we first got into the studio, we were like, we need to write a whole, we need to write songs that are kind of like this, kind of like this, you know, whatever. And then song one was, like, the ass beater song. Like, <laughs> literal, like, word for word, we were like, we need an ass beater. This is the ass beater. You start the damn song, and then you hit your head on the wall. And that's how we start the album. And so, you know, that's why if you listen to it or we're about to listen to it right now, you'll see there's a lot of breakdowns. And especially one super early in the song, we want you guys to know what you're getting yourselves into. A bleh. Was that a blast or a yeah? It's a blast, baby. We got a blast, dude. What the? Okay, I'm, I'm 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 processing. You know what I mean? Like like in my like you know it's I'm downloading the files that just happened in my brain right now. That's that's what's going through. What the? F <laughs> that one hits, dude. I told you that's the speeder. It's got like three breakdowns in it, and then in the chorus, it's got the. That is my favorite part of the entire song. I'm not gonna lie, it's whatever's going on in the background of the chorus that hits like and I, that one was sounded like again all, all the singles obviously have you know there's the mixtures of heavies and then symphony and emotion mixed in that one had a really cool like blackened vibe you know with all like the the, the melodies and choices and dude like i mean i've said it to you a million times your vocals are fucked. like I, I i don't know how else to explain it the word insane doesn't really do it but like i mean i'm you know that because i'm pretty sure every time you post it's like oh my god you know but how the f like there's so many different techniques and they're so crisp and your enunciation dude like that i really respect right because noises are noises yeah. but those that f enunciation is is, is is hot okay i'm gonna tell you i hated that for a long time okay. in my voice is because every time i try to do vocals i would always enunciate them and then i would listen back to other vocalists doing like cr like grind chord like these guys sounding Stage. right why don't i sound like that in my own music like i can copy what everybody else is doing but i can't do that in my own stuff and then i realize it's because like whatever they're doing they're just not enunciating yeah. like doing what i'm doing but not enunciating it so it sounds like monstrous and you listen to it and it's just like whoa right this punch i don't know what the hell he's saying but it sounds like a monster screaming at you and then I don't know. We, we threw some of those parts in the album. That's kind of when I realized I was like, dude, I think I know how to do that. I just don't do that for whatever reason. <laughs> just, so, yeah, I can understand you. Damn. Like, yeah, like that's that's tricky, man. Like, it's it's wild. Like, cause yes. it, these are brutal f***ing vocals. I loved watching the video you did with, um, oh, my God, Charismatic Voice. That was f***ing amazing. And like just seeing the I, I love seeing the f***ing, I forgot the, the person putting the thing down your scope like f***ing 
fangirl a nasal at- endoscopy yeah oh yeah the lady the lady yeah because she was just amazed you know what i mean it was just like what <laughs> like what the f- is happening man Dude, when i was sitting there and i was doing the whole thing literally like i saw their faces and i saw them just making like and i'm like why are you i'm like am i doing something wrong like is everything okay and they were like no it's great you just keep doing exactly what you're doing and i'm like all right but like it feels like I'm not like you guys are looking at me crazy and right. I'm not going to lie that whole experience. I've never done vocals with lidocaine in uh, my right. whatever like vocal for, for area. And and shit, right. Oh, yeah, dude. I couldn't feel anything. It felt like that feeling when uh, if anybody has ever been on the sh- played a show before and um, there's no like you can't hear yourself at all okay i got you that's what it felt like because i could hear myself but i in the, in the opposite like i couldn't figure out what muscles i was using that's when i was doing it because i couldn't i couldn't feel anything right. at all that's very strange well it's it's wild man i mean yeah like it's it's like again you're setting kind of a new standard you know with all these new vocalists man that are just like i mean you're not a new vocalist you've been at it for a minute right but like you know for all these vocalists that are starting to get more traction in like the heavier music scene it's like this whole like i'm glad i'm not a vocalist i just have to do the dumb guitar shit, which again it's like now guitar is just how many noises you can kind of make for most of modern metal right it's, so i'm just like that shit. but like vocalist it's like you got to know how to do like any like if you hear something you gotta know how to make that noise basically which is wild I mean, that's how I did it. You know, I only, I kind of try to bring all these techniques that I've heard in metal music. Right. Because, like, since me growing up, you know, like, for instance, as a vocalist, like, when I was first getting into it, I was very, like, I wanted to learn what everybody had to do. So I would spend time learning what this guy was doing. Right. And I would spend time learning what this guy is doing, why his highs sound like that, and right. why does this guy's lows sound like that. And then so, like, I feel like I'm just kind of bringing all of the years of metal and all the stuff that I've listened to together. And I mean, I don't even think about it. I just kind of like do whatever I feel like feels makes like makes the most sense at the end of the day. But I feel like at the same time, what I'm doing isn't things necessarily that people haven't heard. I think it's just bringing all the stuff together so that everybody can feel like, I don't know. I literally don't even know how to describe it. But Uh, you, you describe it by the face that people get when they hear the what the f that comes out of your face you basically you know what I exactly mean? <laughs> so. dude hold on before we go to the next one i gotta i gotta say real quick Him so method. once upon a time when i first saw betraying the martyrs in grammar c theater or irving plaza i don't remember i don't know whatever it's probably grammar c i'm not gonna lie okay but like it was the most packed show ever and what was it i think ebola was going around at the, oh, it's a f- in the u.s and so like uh they were it was so funny because i remember first of all my friend got absolutely like wasted like immediately before the show before the show even started right so i could take care of him the entire time that i was there at that portraying the martyr show but i remember we were sitting in the bleachers and i'm watching this band and i'm like who is this band right. and then i realized it was betraying the martyrs they had this one breakdown yeah. where like all of the, i remember what it was it was so long ago but i remember the uh the vocals cut out or the, all the everything cut out and then you goes, you hear him go like, New York City, Ebola, and then it breaks into this breakdown, and it was the hardest thing I have ever heard in my entire life, and it was because I don't even know why, honestly, Damn. why I was hit so hard, but that was just like, I was like, oh my god, I mean, this yeah, is crazy. That sounds like something Aaron would do. I feel like that. Yeah, that's that. Oh, that adds. It up. was so sick. That's- I'll never a, forget that. What the fuck? What is Wilk? Okay, that this is I, even during the. What the fuck is Wilk? Will it is a cocktail that is absolutely the most amazing thing. People don't realize how good it is until they have one themselves. Okay. And basically, it's an international classic, dude. It's a classic. Okay. And uh, it's a mixture of wine okay. and. Some form of milk. What the f- Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, on. okay. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. But hear me out now, okay? Let's say we got a Riesling. You know Riesling wine? Uh, no, I, I'm, I, I don't. All right, so to anybody that doesn't drink wine here often, okay. first of all, 
applaud for you. Thank you. you should, don't drink. You know, drink beer only. I mean, what? You didn't hear that from me. Anyway, so you're drinking wine. People who don't know wine, there's a specific wine called Riesling, and it's very sweet. Okay. And it's like a dessert kind of wine, okay? So now we got dessert wine. Like a liqueur? Mix it with. Like a wine. It's literally just really <laughs> oh, okay. sweet wine. Sweet... Dude. Okay, continue. I'm sorry. I guess a sweet wine. Not a liqueur. Sweet wine. Sweet wine. Okay, okay. So let's say we got sweet wine. Right. And you got maybe lemon custard creamer or strawberry creamer. Okay. And you put it just a little, just a little, little splash. You know what I mean? Like right. if you have a coffee, do you put a load of creamer in it? Yeah. No. So you just do a little little splash okay. you get it shaken up you shake it you okay. get a little orange peel boom throw that on the end you have a shaken riesling lemon custard uh freaking cocktail and i'm gonna tell you right now that sounds absolutely delicious i would destroy that <laughs> yes yes I can, i'll yes, try yes. i'll try i don't have i don't have i have like regular wine and i have milk so like I'd go and I'd go and I'd go figure this out, but I I I don't I don't I, I need to do it properly, right? I I, I can't. You have gotta that. do it. Listen, you can do it however you want. I prefer if you get a nice red wine, you can do a red wine, and you it's almost like how coffee is like super dark, and you put a little cream in it, and it's like boom, now it explodes, it looks great. Right. Boom. You can do that with red wine. Just find the wine that you want. If you like dry, you know, do that. Do a little little splash of something in okay, there okay but you gotta shake it you know you gotta shake it because it gives a little froth to it wow 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 okay and, oh and you could go vegan for all you vegans out there that are like man that sounds like crap don't worry we have oatmeal or oat milk creamer it exists. are you guys I, I, so don't I, count I, yourselves out you're in are you guys selling you. this <laughs> this, no, no, we all. I'm about it though. I'm about it. And dude, don't even get me started on milk. On, dude, I was about. No, we're, we're, <laughs> bro, don't. pain remains wine. How would that not sell out that in one sounds, day? That sounds like a wine that you would drink, and then you would get like food poisoning, <laughs> and then like six days later, you'd be like, Ah, why did I drink that? <laughs> oh God. Well, if you listen, if you've ever played Sekiro video game, very good video game, I've not, first of all. I've not. Actually, very arguably, uh, could be terrible depending on who you are. Me, I hated it because I kept dying all the freaking time. But then okay. recently, now I'm in, you know, but now that's not the point. The point is, in the game Sekiro, which, by the way, everybody in this band has played. Oh, like that, that's, the, uh, that's like the Dark times. Soul, the Soul style game, right? It is a Soul style uh Samurai, or that one. Ninja, okay, I've seen that. Japanese style, yeah, Got basically. You. You're like a like a shonen or something, mm -hmm. and you go around and you just kill a bunch of people. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't get very far in it, right? Because I died a lot. But anyway, that's not the point. So this game, in the game, there's a point where uh, it's actually okay. So in the breakdown, right. if you're listening to the breakdown, it repeats. So there's like one line, and then it repeats the second time, and it gets, and the second time it repeats, it's even like more gutturally. Okay. Or, or whatever and in between the first and the second part there is the sound the sheathing the unsheathing of a sword oh, and yes. nobody i guarantee so many people miss this but that is why it is the my favorite part in the entire freaking song because it goes you just hear Shing, well and then it goes dun, well dun, i gotta tell you something dun. we're about to break the rules right now and i'm gonna throw that song on and we're gonna find that seat we're, she's we're gonna do it we're gonna do it. We're gonna break the rules. Oh. Did I? Did it happen? You missed. I missed it. it. Bring it back. Bring, bring it back. Oh, you missed it again. I'm looking at you. Bro, oh, am I dumb? What the? Uh, so the the title Soulless Existence is actually kind of an inside joke because we were watching this documentary about like uh, I don't even remember what band it was. It was some band. Okay. I don't even actually I don't even think it was a real band. I'm not gonna lie, or maybe it was. I don't know. Whatever. But it's these guys in the studio, okay. and so um, they're just writing. Oh, so once upon a time, MTV. I think they had a TV show where it was like. They brought in a whole bunch of like OGs, and then they're like, "All right, you guys got to make a song." And then 
that's what you're going to do. It's going to be the hit of the f-ing entire world or right. something. And so at the and there's one part in the video, if anybody in the chat knows what I'm talking about, where the guy goes like, the guy goes like, all right, I need you to say soulless existence. Oh. And he's like, he's like, soulless. And he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. More like soul. And he's like, soul. He's like, no, no, no. And he's like, literally, it's like a part of it where and they go back and forth. He's like, soulless existence. And it's, no, he's like, dude, that's bad. You got to make it more like soul, soul. Right. And it's literally just like, I'm there just listening to this thing. I'm like, this is so funny. <laughs> right. Okay. Like, I, I, I'm like, why? I, I thought it was hilarious. And then when we were writing the lyrics, when I was writing the lyrics to this thing, they, it fit perfectly. Yeah. And I was just like, dude, this is just a sad song. Right. So, I mean, it was the last, the last word of the entire song. And I said, and pe- honestly, I've had some people be like, dude, this is like one of my favorite lines. And I'm like, well, I love that. That's it is cool. a little bit of an inside joke, but it's uh there you go. It's great. I think it's a good song. There you go. That's that's the insider that nobody would know about. I don't know if they still have that show, but they definitely do. They exist. There. I think, dude, they got to throw Lorna on there. Remember when they actually had music? Or, you know, okay, you know what? Even music at that point. Have you guys on as a reality show? That would be fucking awesome. I'd watch that. Dude, I was just talking to the band today. I was like, when are we going to have a show called Lorna Shore? They have they already have Jersey Shore. Yes. You know what I mean? Or Jer- <laughs> or like uh Edgewater Shore, I don't know. Yes. Just like uh, our own shore and it's just us just eating Wendy's every day. Just like really sad and sweaty and just like, wow, this is really brutal. This is why are we even on this show? Yeah. That was an idea that I had. I thought it would have been a great idea. You guys got you guys got to do GTL every day though and go to the and go to the clubs, dude. Come on. That would be the f- funniest show of the entire decade, dude. GTL would just be freaking Wendy's sleep and uh, and cry. WSC. So, WSC. There you go. go. That's 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 Wendy's the Lorna Shore, cry. dude. I, 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 that's how you make pain remains. There you go. The more you know. <laughs> are you are you a Halloween dude? Like, are you you know? I, feel I like love Halloween. You f- with Halloween? Do you do things for Halloween, or is it just like, oh, today's Halloween? Like, cool. That's like the metal day, you know, holiday or whatever. You know, it's it's what, what do you what do you do? Anything special? So I always try and tell myself, like, next year, like, I'll be like, dude, I'm going to get ready for Halloween. And then the month goes by so fast. And now I'm, like, a week away from Halloween. I'm like, I have nothing. Let me go to, to like, I don't know, the closest Halloween store. And I go. Right. And it's like everything there now sucks because everybody that would have gotten good Halloween stuff already got it. Right. So I'm just like, all right, I guess I'll just choose whatever I can find that's pretty cool. And then I get it, and I tell myself, "Yo, next year you gotta be on top of it." Right. They, and then, and then next year comes by, I do the same damn thing all over again. I'm like, man, I can't win out here. Bro, like, I'm trying. Content idea. Sorry, YouTuber brain went on when you said that, bro. If you dressed up as a goblin and then you went in the public and like made goblin noises, bro, and you filmed that, sh- done viral right there. Listen, that's what ne- that's Necro Goblicon in a nutshell, right there. Oh, and if you know my band, you know my band loves Necro Goblicon. Let's go. To- All right, stop. that's true. Come on. I, fe- I feel like you have a variety of animals, though. You could choose that you could probably emulate with a scream that you could go out there and just like that's it, like just make it happen. Listen, I'm with you on this. I want. I thought this one idea where I would uh, go to like camp spots in the night. <laughs> And I and then I just start like making like crazy sounds while people are sleeping, and, and they start freaking out. But then I thought maybe if I did that, I'd probably get shot. So maybe I won't do that because I feel like you go camping and you hear a sound like that, you probably pull out like a gun or so, or like bear mace. And then I'm bear mace, and then I'm screaming like actually screaming with my eyes just like melting out of my Jeez. damn head. That's what I think about. Yeah, instead of punked, it's so like there was one rawr. time. There was one time I was literally doing a hike. I, I filmed it for a little bit because I was like, I had nothing better to do. We had an off day in the right. studio or we didn't know what the hell to do. And so we were all just, oh, no, we were, it was in between uh, the last tour and the, or the tour before last tour and the tour that we just did. But we, we were shooting the music videos for the Pain Trilogy. Right. And one of the days it was just like, so we didn't know what the hell to do with ourselves. Hmm. So I was like, I'm going to figure it out. And I went and I went on this. I went hiking on this walk by myself and I'm like, you know, let me just try my vocals out. You know, there's nobody out here. Right. There's nobody here. 
You know what I mean? Like, okay. I'm just going to scream and do some and see what I sound like. And, and then I started screaming. And then I, and I'm walking and then I stop and I start walking for a little while. Right. And then I see this. And then I, I look to my left and I see this dude turning around the corner with his dog. And then I'm like, this is awkward. He totally knows that that was me. And then he comes up to me and he's, and I'm like, Hey man, how you doing? You know, I love your dog. Can I pay your dog? He's like, yeah, did you pet my dog? By the way, did you hear that? Something, did you hear that? And I was like, dude, hear what? And he was like, He's like, dude, it's just some crazy sound. I just heard it. I don't know where it's coming from. And I was like, what did it sound like? He's like, honestly, it sounded like he was like something that I've never, I've never heard before in my life. And I was like, wow, I'm not gonna lie, I definitely heard something, but I think it was coming from behind me. Jeez. I was like, I'm gonna walk away from that. So if you're walking in that direction, good freaking luck. And he was like, yeah, man, blah blah blah. And then I walked away, and I thought he left the park, so I continued to do <laughs> vocals somewhere else in this gigantic forest area. And then once again, I turn the damn corner and then there he is once again with his dog. And he, and I was like, bro, I think I heard it. <laughs> and he's just like, he's like, dude, I just heard it again. And I'm like, wow, this is, this is the craziest thing I've ever heard. Jesus. And I'm like, I don't, I'm about to leave. So whatever you, I was like, I'm from New Jersey and in New Jersey, and that, we don't, you don't hear things like that. Right, so right. I'm going to leave. Jeez. And uh, he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're like leaving and he's telling me like he's, <laughs> dude, I don't know what was going on in this guy's mind, but he was like, dude, I just, we were, we we're walking out together now. Right. And I got it on my phone. I was like filming it for my gram. And it's literally like the guy's like, yeah, dude, like I go into the forest to like meditate and stuff. <laughs> so I'm like meditating and then I start hearing this, this sound like, and like I would change the subject then he would bring it right back to the oh, subject man. again and just be like, yeah, dude, like, I don't know what the heck is going on. I'm like, dude, maybe you manifested that shit. Maybe your demons, you manifested your demons while you were while you were meditating, dude. And he was like, honestly, yeah, I think so. Dude, did and I, and I was just like, what do you think that was? He was like, listen, I don't want to say that I believe in Bigfoot. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I don't. I was like, well, I'm out of here. I'm not gonna lie. When I left that guy, I found out he hated Hispanic people. So. What the f that oh, was okay. really funny because he didn't know. Because, you know, I know, dude, you were walking out. And I was like, so where are you from, dude? He's like, oh, yeah, I'm from uh, uh, New Jersey. I used to live by Trenton. But I moved out because, you know, there's just a, a lot of Hispanic people over there. And I'm like, yeah, I totally get that. You know, he's like, dude, Hispanic people are just so loud, dude. He's like, now you, like, then yeah, you yeah. definitely should have done it right at the end. Dude, I'm just looking at him and I'm like, bro, I am a Hispanic man. Right. And I've never seen somebody backpedal so fast. He was like, oh, I mean, I mean, I, mean, uh, you know, I, didn't, I didn't mean that. And I'm like, listen, it's totally cool. Hispanic people are loud. I'm oh Hispanic, man. God. I heard it. I get it. But he totally thought I was a white guy. I mean, I am white skinned, but right. I am 100% Hispanic. And I thought that was so funny. The people, the things that people confide in others right. that they don't even know once they hear scary Bigfoot sounds in the forest. Dude, so. Oh, my God. If you, Especially if you did it right then. He's like, after thinking they're like, like, pe like Hispanic people are loud or whatever the f that you fucking do. Oh, this. my God. <laughs> <'Cause you laughs> that's like. Dude, that's what I was thinking. I was like. Dude, if I, me doing what I was doing only proves his point even further. <laughs> I had to spare him. I was like, you know what, dude? You I'm, I'm him. just gonna. I was like, tell everybody about this story. Tell. And I guarantee he went home and he told people that he heard crazy sounds and he met a guy and the guy also heard the crazy sounds. I am that guy. So shout out to whoever that guy is who lives somewhere in Pennsylvania. Dude. I think it was Pennsylvania or New York. You think you think Pennsylvania. You think one day he was scrolling through TikTok and saw the Hellfire and was like, "Oh my God, it's the noise!" <laughs> There's no way, dude. There's absolutely no way that that guy was like. You could tell he didn't listen to metal. Okay. <laughs> oh, I wish he did though, because I would laugh. He would see me and he'd be like, "See the picture of me?" And be like, "Wait a second. Wait a second. That's that guy that's the... from the forest, dude. That's that's, that's legendary, guy. man. You have." A legendary stories man that's so funny dude Jeez. that was the funniest thing from that i remember coming back and being like yo guys you're not even gonna believe i love the nerf guns you're fun you're
I'm sure your tour bandmates love it too. <laughs> you know, just fucking... oh, they hate it, dude. They hate it because I would just be shooting them. Yeah. And then I remember at one point I was just I was literally on like a two story uh, barbecue spot. Right. That happened to be a venue. Actually, one of the best barbecue spots I had in a very long time. I'm not oh, lie. Yeah. But I'm like on the second floor, and I and I see I see Andrew, and I'm like aiming. I just got this thing. Like I somebody just gave it to me the long the like sniper gun yeah and so i'm aiming right at him and i'm like there's no way i'm gonna shoot i'm gonna get him with this and i shoot and you can see the bullet do like a i'm like it's totally gonna miss and then it goes and it hits him right in the head and he goes and he looks up and he looks at me and i can see he's just like nah, i'm done with this <laughs> i'm like ah i just got it jesus damn man well that's it's legendary, man. Game Again, on. people love it. They love you. They love the content. Whew. Nailed it. And that's the whole freaking album, baby. We try to end it with a climactic ending, and I felt like, honestly, we did a good job with that one. Is it, a, is it go? See, now you're not sure whether to be happy or to cry. You know, and that is what I wanted. I wanted the most bittersweet tragedy of a song, of a story, rather. Like, you know, when you see, like, movies and shit, they all have happy endings. Nobody's ever done, like, a tragedy in a long, long... I'm sure there's plenty of tragedies out there, but it's not very common. So I was like, I think we should end this, obviously, on a sad, almost everything kind of vibe. And that is what we ended up getting to. It's like, it ends super climactically, and it's... Jeez. I don't know, dude. That was it. Was uh, we beasted? I'm gonna describe this because I, 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 I there's too many things I can say, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it simple, especially that whole package. What we like the paint, the trilogy, the whole album was the most brutally beautiful thing I think I've heard in in the past. I not even did in the past 10, 20, 30, since I've been born, man. Like. Just, Thank I, you, just, dude. I'm just fucking claps. Dude. I don't know what else to say other than that. Like that's just y'all made. Listen, a I'm glad that you freaking like it, man. That's all we want at the end of the day. We want people to like feel things. You know, it's been so long since people, you know, listen to deathcore and they have a vibe other than like I'm gonna punch something in the head. So we wanted to bring yeah. a little punch in the head, a little laugh at how heavy things are, and then especially cry which is how we end the entire thing. So bittersweet cry ending. I don't know. I really think it strings everything together somehow. That's how you f you go through. It's a roller coaster. Do you listen to this album? You it's a freaking roller coaster. It is. Sometimes it gets really late at night and then I go in my studio and I crank up the speakers and then I just listen to the whole thing. And then I, I go, ah, I sent the picture to a band once. It's just like, Hey guys, I just finished listening to the album. And it's literally me just like, Oh like my god. Five tears on my face. I'm like, dude, dude I think we did pretty good. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, dude, so that is we made it. Like I again, dude, like I like it's, there's a lot of things I could say, but I'm just gonna f like that was it was beautiful. It was fing brutal. Y'all came out here and you made a motherfucking statement with this sh like a statement not just for the you know metal scene, but for music, man. You know, showing the world that you can be as heavy as you want, brutal as you want, and still make people cry is harder than most music and act like, you know, people that try to only write ballads can do. You know what I mean? Like, you guys came out here, you did that, while showcasing your, like, talents, again, vocally, dude. Like, I mean, I've, I, you know, I've said to you all the time, your vocals are, it's it's dummy thick. I don't know how else to say. It's, 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 <laughs> it's ridiculous, the you can do and the technique and time you put into your voice same thing with everyone in your band F adam austin andrew like they're just masters at their craft and combining all of that talent with brutality with emotion with beauty and bringing it together to make something like this man like that's some timeless right there bro like i f***ing congratulations thank you, man. to all you guys on thank YouTube, you man. so much but will homie Thank you so much for coming to hang with us and celebrating your album release day with, with everybody here. Again, we have over 2,000 people. You guys, you probably have in tears right now because of how beautiful and heavy that was, man. So, like, yes, 
exactly man so thank you so much for coming to do that man we everyone here appreciates it i appreciate it man um congratulations for you guys doing this it's beautiful it's heavy and man you're, you're a homie you know I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing all the crazy shit you guys do and anything i can ever do to help push this stuff in any way or just just whatever you guys need you know you slide in the dms and i got you guys man absolutely man thank you so much for freaking having me it's I love it's, it's always great to have Nick time. You know, this is my my Nick Nocturnal time and I haven't had it in a long time. So I'm a little overdue. So thank you so much for yeah. having me. I'm glad that you even like the album at all. I'm glad the people yeah. above your head like the, the album as well because like we put a lot of love into it. So yeah, I hope everybody comes out eventually. I hope you come out when we play our live sets so that we can hang out. <laughs>